in association with Guinness World Records. He's got to be one of the coolest men in Hollywood, hasn't he? Yeah, Samuel L. Jackson hit the golf course at Wentworth for the Fit Flop Shooting Stars benefit. And he needed a caddy? He did. Who would be brilliant at being a caddy for him? Of course, it was Gavin. He's a tough guy in the movies and plays a mean game on the golf course too. Samuel L. Jackson has roped in his celebrity mates, including Hayley Joel Osment, Michael Bolton and uh, Neil Fox to tee off at his latest charity golf tournament. So before I go to caddy for Mr. Cool, let's catch up with a few of his celebrity mates. Yeah, he's just great to be out on the course with, you know, he's a great guy. You yeah. know, and he's also a good golfer, so you aren't going to be hanging out in the woods too much. He apparently writes into his uh, contract that he has to have at least one day off a week to go and play golf. Make sure you have the, your hand weight when you go out with him. Hand weight? Hand weight. What's a hand weight? I'm usually about six pounds, seven pounds, oh. but not as much as a chicken. Samuel, I'm Gavin. I'm caddying Hello. for you today. Hey, Gavin. How are you doing? Oh, great. How are you? I'm very well, thanks, Chase. I'm caddying for you today. Okay. What's in store for me? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping you'll just have to walk down the fairway and not in the trees a lot. <laughs> now, every golf montage has got to have some good music underneath it. So I've got three choices for you based on the films that you've been in. Star Wars, Shaft, or Pulp Fiction? I'm going to go with Star Wars today because my game might be otherworldly. That's a great shout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be badass, so Shaft's not going to work. <laughs> I'm giving it a kiss for you. Kiss of luck. Did you clean it? Uh, no, I just kissed it dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Three rules of caddying. Show up, keep up, shut up. <laughs> Hole in one, I reckon. The charity that, that we're here for today, what's all that about then? We're um, supporting the Make-A-Wish Foundation UK this year. Um, I've been kind of running into Make-A-Wish kids since I got in the movie business. Yeah. Since they seem to want to meet movie stars. It's kind of funny. You know, it's a great organization. Uh, kids who have mostly terminal diseases that have one thing they want to do before the end of their lives and they try and make that happen for them. So I think it's a wonderful thing. And the fashion stakes with golf, how would you assess yours? I mean, when I play in tournaments, I, I kind of wear, you know, signature outfits or yeah. find some tartan that's really cool. Tartan, tartan, really a big one is color it. In it. Yeah, I like yeah. tartan pants. A lot of thought goes into it then. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Just comes natural. Slightly that way, I reckon. You're a terrible caddy. <laughs> All right. Okay. But, you know, you're great company. Thank you very much. You're very pleasant. Piece of entertainment, yeah. eh? Yes. <laughs> and you cheer very loudly when I do something well, so that, I'm true. down with that. I could be your cheerleader then rather than caddy, maybe next time. Mm. Yeah, maybe not. Oh. Oh. Thank you very much, Sammy. You're in the oh. club. <laughs> Four oh, words for you here. Thank you very much. Keep the day job. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks again. Oh, OK. I'm really let's excited. The, let's get the weather now from uh, Kirsty, who's uh, live from Essex.